you highly welcome my dear brothers and sisters out there i'm glad that you just clicked to watch this message today i'm going to be talking about the bible study and i'll be taking this particular time to be able to really have a deep bible study with the brothers and sisters who have been who are consist consistent in the study of the scripture those people who want to sincerely study the scripture and who wants to know those mysteries of the things which is contained in the scripture. So in these lessons, because it's going to be a series of lessons, which we're going to be embarking on in order to do a thorough study of the scripture. And so, and so for the brothers and sisters out there who are willing who are whose heart desire is to know the mysteries of the scripture how the ancient apostles how the ancient malachs how yahushua the same message that yahushua brought on the same message that apostle paul taught on not a watered out message but you want to get to know the concrete truth of the things which is contained in the scripture. Brothers and sisters, I'm using this particular opportunity to invite you to join us into this particular Bible study. We're not talking about religious kind of Bible study. We are talking about going dig deeper into the scripture in order to see the truth of the things which is contained therein. I know some of you have brothers and sisters, those who have form of love, those who have love for the truth to be able to really study, but because what they are being fed in the churches at a time, they tend to start backsliding on the things which is contained in the scripture because they are not being fed the truth of what is really going on or what is contained in the scripture but i assure you my dear brothers and sisters out there as you come along to study with us in the bible study about the things which is already contained the truth of the bible i'm talking about the truth knowledge the true revelation of the knowledge of the things which is already contained in the bible i tell you my dear brothers and sisters out there as you come along with us in this study of the scripture your life will never be the same this is a promise i say this is a promise you see the life that you have been living the things that you have known, all the lies you've been told about the scripture, some of you are even trying to see that, oh, is this Bible even, are you going to even trust the things which is really contained in the scripture? Because of the way that Christianity has shaped everything, you tend to be backsliding towards the things which you were being told because the Christianity, Christianity or religion have made you to be able to see those things from their own way of perspective. But I'm here today, my dear brothers and sisters out there. Those people who are willing, those people who have determined, those people who have desired to know the truth of the Bible, to know the truth, the mysteries of the things which is contained in the scripture. I am inviting you, my dear brothers and sisters out there, to join us into this particular Bible studies in studying the things which is already written and contained in the scripture to see the truth, to reveal the truth, to bring to light the things which are there and like I said, my dear brothers and sisters, you journeying into this particular study, you would never, you would never, ever remain the same again. This is a promise. This is a promise, my dear brothers and sisters. So invite your brothers and sisters. 
invite your family members invite anyone that you love around you to be able to come with an honest heart the decision to learn the mindset to go an extra mile to dig deeper into the things which has already been written and when you have this open mind and the desire to learn I'm telling you my dear brothers and sisters out there the sky is not yet the limit but the starting point you are yet to start discovering that the things which you have been told all your life the things which you have been taught all your life is actually not the truth but a lot of things are being fabricated in an illusion coined in order to be able to do what in order so that when you are really awakened to the reality of what is happening you would start to be asking the question that you are asking now which led you into this particular message which I'm about to reveal to you in the series of our Bible studies so as you are coming out here my dear brothers and sisters be somebody who has already made up his mind to go an extra mile of course you're going to meet challenges of a lot of things this is why you have taken up this mantle but since you have determined to search for this truth of the Bible I tell you brothers and sisters you are on the right place this is my mission this is the mission of my brothers and sisters down here we are here to give you the revelation the mystery of the things which is contained in the book in the Bible and these mysteries by the time you start seeing and knowing them is going to, is going to automatically cause a direct trans metamorphosis is going to transform you from within and the transformation is going to be seen without it is not just matter of speaking the word or hearing the word only but this same word which is being spoken, which you accepted, which you received, is going to do what is going to bear fruit in your life. You're going to see yourself is going to see the impact of this in your life. This is why I tell you with all assurance and with all confidence and promising you that you would never be the same again if you are somebody who has come here with an open mind in order to study the book with us and so this is the reason why I'm going to be taking it one step after another to lead us so that we can be able to go through the things which is contained in the knowledge of the book like I said and so I'm making this particular message to my brothers and sisters out there and to their extended family, friends and lovers. For them to pass this message, my dear brothers and sisters, to one another for the people who want to really study the scripture on their own. They want to study. And now coming together, you are coming into this particular place for we to be able to really see analyze open up reveal you see those things which has been hidden in the sight in the plain sight of people and by the time you start seeing them the rest is just the manifestation of those things which you have now known it is going to be manifested in your life so which means is going to be a fruit you're not just going to be hearer only but also doer of so many things of the word which you which you have heard 
And so I adjourn you, my dear brothers and sisters out there. Do not let anything deprive you. Do not let anything deprive you from joining this particular mission. And it is a mission to be able to get you equipped to the tax and the journey which is before you. Because you are here for a reason. And some are being sent in order to help you out, to show you the way to really get back to where you used to be, even before you were here. Do not be carried away by the illusions of things which you are seeing. Everybody here is not who you think that they are. What does the Bible say? The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of Elohim, and everything will be added unto you. For inquire of the former age. Go and inquire and ask of the former things. Get to start to know what has happened, the truth of the things which has happened. And like I said, by the time you do, your eyes, spiritual eyes, is going to start opening and you're going to really know and understand your purposes, which a lot of religious organizations have made you to forget. You're going to start really knowing your purpose and the rules which you are to play in this particular paradigm. So like I said, my dear brothers and sisters, I have taken it this particular time to be able to you know, stop and be able to bring my brothers and sisters out and raise them into the level of knowledge to the extent that and nothing raising their awareness, not just the awareness, but the level of their knowledge, raising their own vibration in the things of the scripture, in the truth of the Bible. And so that you can be able to stand. You see, when you have knowledge rooted in truth, when you have knowledge rooted in truth, any kind of wind should come. Any kind of wind can come. Any kind of trials and temptation can come. Any kind of things can come, but you cannot be moved. Why? Because you already been rooted. And so this is my call to raise sons, to raise Prince and princess to raise warriors. This is my call, my dear brothers and sisters, to be able to, to come out here and be able to elevate and help our brothers and sisters as I'm passing through this particular paradigm now. And the message which was being given to me, which is being given to me, I'm here passing it to my brothers and sisters, raw, unadulterated, to those people who have ears to hear. And this is why I'm calling out to my brothers and sisters, those who are in different places, to tune in as we go on this journey to see what religion has hidden in plain sight and to discover the truth of the Bible itself. As long as you are somebody, like I said, who have made up his or her mind to go this journey, you are with us. And in these studies, buckle your seat belt because we are going to be revealing mysteries through the Ruach of Yahushua to the people who are ready and are willing to accept it for what it is. I say to you all, my dear brothers and sisters, join me in our lessons towards the, you know, towards the journey of revealing the knowledge 
and what the salvation of our Heavenly Father is, as we explore, as we reveal through the Ruach of Yahushua the mysteries which is contained in the scripture. So we're going to be having a series of Bible studies. So we're going to be having even online studies which will be taking place like two times in a month. And I'll shortly announce and give an announcement, my dear brothers and sisters. I've taken it, I've taken this time to make it on every Saturday, every second Saturday. The first, the first, that is the second Saturday and the second Saturday of the month and the, the one towards the end. So we are going to be having these studies of the scripture to share and be able to get to know more in regards to the scripture in itself. As you join me, like I said, you remain strong and you will be strong and nothing, I said nothing can be able to move you in the faith that you have in our Heavenly Father Yahuwah through His Word Yahushua which lives inside of you. I say to you all, Shalom and remain strong as we start up this particular series of Bible study. In the name of Yahushua, Shalom my brothers and sisters out there.